Now today we are checking out the Freedom Plus by Centaur. Now this is a lightweight, compact caravan. It's fiberglass sandwich panel construction. Now Centaur really specialises in this type of construction. A lot of experience with fiberglass. Now it's a wet, gloomy sort of a day, but I like this caravan and I think you will too. So let's check it out. Welcome inside the Freedom Plus. Now this is the top of the line model in this particular range of caravans by Centaur. You've got the Cara Camper Series 2, then you've got the Tura, and then of course you've got this rig, the Freedom Plus. Now there's also a larger van in the Centaur range. It's got a door on the near side and it's called the Caravane. But being honest, I really like this caravan. It feels bigger on the inside than you might think when you look at it from the outside. Now how do they make this van? Well, as I said earlier, Centaur has an extensive background in working with fiberglass and it really shows in this particular unit. The entire body is fiberglass sandwich panel, 28 mil thick walls, and a one piece fiberglass front, roof, and rear section. And the rear door entry, look, you don't see that a lot on caravans, but I like it. It makes the caravan feel more spacious, and I think it allows for some extra things like the combo bathroom that you might not otherwise get. And that bathroom, by the way, it's pretty seamless. It's a one piece fiberglass unit. In fact, the only joints are right at the very top and they've been neatly siliconed off, so I can't see the bathroom leaking at all. Now, the fiberglass inside the van, well, that's seamless as well. And of course, with Centaur's background, that's what you'd expect. Now, this caravan is clearly made for two people. And um, I think two people would sit really quite comfortably here at this L-shaped lounge. You've got the bed up the front, and of course, you can lift that up for access to the storage space underneath. Now, the bed base is secured in place for traveling by a special latch. And honestly, you don't see that very often these days. Now, if you prefer, you can have two single beds instead of the large double. And there's a reasonable amount of storage inside this caravan too. You've got a large cupboard on the offside just um, next to the bed. You've got wardrobes either side of the bed as well. Overhead lockers here and there. A couple of cupboards under the kitchen sink and some drawers. So honestly, two people, I don't think they're really gonna struggle looking for somewhere to keep their gear. Now, one of the major features of this van is it's lightweight. Now the van that I'm sitting in at the moment has a tear of 1,560 kilos. It also has an ATM of 2,100 kilos and that gives it a really generous payload capacity, especially for a single axle caravan. It has a ball weight of 120 kilos. Now when you put all these weights together, it really opens the Freedom Plus to a wide range of tow vehicles. Now if this van looks familiar to you, well it was designed quite a number of years ago and it was released as the Cara Camper. The man who designed it had an extensive background in boat building and that design influence has clearly been carried through here. I mean, look around, you've got fiberglass everywhere and it's easy to clean and really strong. And they've also used marine cabin liner on the walls here and there and the roof as well. Centaur builds its chassis in-house. Now the chassis on this van is four inch galvanized main members and the four inch draw bar that runs back to the suspension. And for a van such as this, I really don't think you need anything more than that. Now I think the Freedom Plus by Centaur is a really interesting van. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's really different from just about anything else on the market. And as I said, it can be towed by a wide range of vehicles and that's a massive plus for this van. Now the Freedom Plus is a semi off-roader and as such, it gets the Elko Enduro Outback Trailing Arm Suspension System. Other features include two 80 watt solar panels, a gray water system, twin batteries and battery monitor, quick release jacks, there's a 12 volt outlet and off-road tires and the Alco off-road coupling. For refrigeration, they've opted for a Dometic compressor fridge. And of course, they've even included an air conditioner. For cooking, you've got a three burner stove with a glass flip up lid. And when it's time to do the dishes, there's even a little sink. The NCE range hood is included as well. And you can keep tabs on your battery levels via the Enerdrive display inside the cabin. And in case you're wondering, yes, this caravan does come with a gas and electric hot water system. So if you're looking for something different that's well built, that's lightweight, definitely check out this van.